Hey guys, Ben Burka here. Say so we just finished up the uh, BRB Trap and Skeet automated equipment installation here on the West uh, Trap and Skeet field and wanted to run through uh, just basic operation of the equipment. So kind of an overview here of uh, what we have with the equipment. Uh, I just got three of the mic stands out for demo purposes here uh, on the trap for right now. But what we have is eight total microphone stands. Uh, does not matter where they go. Uh, they can go anywhere for trap. Obviously, you just need five for trap. Uh, you can use all eight for skeet. Uh, they have a rechargeable battery box here. Uh, we numbered the, the boxes just to keep track in case we have any problems. We can isolate those. But it does not matter uh, which mics go where. Uh, we do have this one guy here uh, that's got um, a little uh, holder on the side of it. And what we use that for is uh, to put the hand unit on uh, if you happen to be solo shooting or want to set it down and don't want to set it in the grass. So anyway, there's eight of the uh, eight of the mics um, total and one handset. The handset does use AA batteries. Real quick thing to, to make these last longer, uh, they do have this handle here. And so encourage all your athletes to make sure you pick them up and, and carry them by the handle, move them by the handle, not by the the horn itself um, again that'll just help things last longer and uh, so that's that's kind of a quick overview um, i will say that uh, the trap and skeet fields can be run with the brb automated equipment or they can be used with the uh, the standard pull cord for the skeet that plugs in there uh, by the center stake or the trap pull cord inside the trap house there's no no changes whatsoever that have to be made um, other than plugging in the, the cord for the manual or uh, pulling out the BRB um, mic stands and uh, the handset unit um, to make it all go. Uh, as far as storing these, uh, we, we store five of the mic stands inside the trap house and we store uh, the other three inside the skeet low house. And again, they're rechargeable. Uh, the batteries, you cannot overcharge them, and so we just keep them plugged in all the time. Uh, that way they're on maintain uh, trickle throughout. Um, so we're going to run through just quick operation of trap and uh, quick operation of the basic skeet. Okay guys, so the operation for trap uh, really couldn't be any easier. Uh, just get out your five uh, mic units and uh, similar to the Canterbury's, you have to power each one on. So uh, what you do is you reach down this button right on top of the box, just press and release. You'll hear it make its happy noise and you'll see the green light flash. Uh, there are different indicator sounds for trap and for skeet. Uh, what you just heard was the trap sound. Uh, the skeet will be slightly different. So we'll power each of these on one at a time. And if I had all five out, um, obviously I'd, I'd get the other two. Uh, we're just using three for today. All you really need is one. So again, uh, they'll sit here, they'll flash on standby mode. If you, if you do leave them on too long, they may turn off. And so if you don't see the light flashing, um, uh, that would mean that uh, you need to turn it back on because it's gone to sleep. Uh, so from the handset, uh, what you want to do uh, Anytime you want to release a target, we've got um, this button here on the bottom left, and that will throw a target at any time. So if I press that, I'm going to get a target. Okay. Uh, turning the mics on and off, again, very easy. So you'll see that it's flashing here. And if I turn the mic on, that's the button here on the upper left. Okay, you'll see my mic's lit. Okay, if I want to turn it off, I just released a target because I was talking. Okay, the upper right button uh, turns it off and sends it back to flash mode where it's on standby. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, to power off the units, uh, just press and release. So when you're done, make sure they're all turned off. And that's it. All right, guys, so we finished shooting trap for the day. Just cover the basic teardown and uh, 
what you need to do here at the end of the day. So, um, so we'll store the uh, five of the mics here inside the trap house. Uh, the other three are inside the skeet house. Um, for the handset, uh, make sure the handset goes inside uh, behind the counter. Um, it can just go kind of with the sporting play spare parts pieces. Um, again, these batteries on the receiver are all rechargeable and you cannot overcharge them. So they just need to go on trickle charge. Uh, inside here we have our bank uh, of chargers on a surge protector. Um, you want to go ahead and unplug the, uh, the trap machine and uh and it's not a bad idea to uh, unplug the uh the controller as well um so anyway uh, these cords are just dangling down here and uh, we just need to grab those and they just plug in on, on the bottom side here you can kind of feel for it and you'll hear the sound that it makes and you'll see that light start to flash let you know that it is charging and uh, you'll see that they're uh, different colors so green green is good obviously and those colors will change as they drag down there we go so everything's charging we're in good shape um, so that's about it as far as uh, taking them down pretty easy All right, so let's talk a little bit now about using the BRB systems for skeet. Uh, the system can be used a couple different ways for skeet. It can be used with the microphone stands. Uh, you can use eight microphone stands, all eight, and put a stand at each station and use it with voice. Uh, you can use uh, just one stand. In this particular stand here, we have the uh, the handheld transmitter support. So if you're a, a solo shooter, uh, you can come out here and um, move this around by the handle and just take a microphone station to station with you. Um, and you can use the system without microphones at all. So let's look at uh, just the basics of how we switch modes between mic and no mic. So if you look at the basic buttons here on the controller, um, the upper left would be the high house, uh, the upper right would be the low house, doubles button here okay and this is how we switch modes uh, or cancel uh, in a variety of different ways so first off if we want to uh, use the brb system just with a handset uh, we can do that and i did want to mention too that we we still do have the traditional pull cord that you can use and plug in uh, at the center stake that works there's no uh, no changes required whatsoever uh, you can use the hand handset uh, pull cord or you can use the uh, the wireless through the BRB um, so to set the uh, the controller here um, to use it without microphones all we would do is press and hold the red button for about two and a half seconds and we'll see the uh, the light uh, light up okay so it makes a beep uh, we've got the light lit up there okay so high house target low house target and again uh, I've got the microphones out here because I'm going to demo that next but uh, to run it in that mode uh, uh, just with the, the handset uh, you do not need the microphones out here okay so to switch back to mic mode um, you see the green light is still lit up that means that I'm in the handset controller mode if I want to go back to using the mics um, I just press and hold that for another two and a half seconds and the light goes away. Okay, so to use the microphone, so let's talk about solo mode first here. If I'm a, a solo shooter, I wanna take this uh, with me and train. Um, I can set the, the controller there, and all I need to do is power on the box here by using the, uh, the button on top, and I'm gonna turn that on, and you'll hear it make its uh, it's happy music now it's set in trap mode and the difference is on that uh, startup tone you hear uh, there's no no last beep so let me power it off here okay turn it on again all right 
So in skeet mode, uh, if we want to change it to skeet mode, all we need to do is press and hold the red button and then press the uh, S for skeet. And you'll hear the different tone. So that means that's set for skeet now. Um, so just to come out here and work on targets um, uh, by yourself or with, uh, with a coach or partner, um, you can come out here and basically uh, select the targets that you want, either a, a high house, low house, or a double. Um, you can see that when the microphones are flashing like that, that means the microphone is closed and you will not get a target. Okay. If I select a target, let's say a high house target, I'm going to push that. Okay, and you can see this flash here, and the microphone is open. Pull. So we've got this in repeat mode now. So basically, uh, that target will be repeated over and over and over until you cancel that action. Okay, so you can see uh, it's flashing on the handset. That means that high house is ready to go. And the microphone on the, uh, the receiver is open. To cancel it, if you're done with that station, all you do is you press the red cancel button. Okay, and that closes the mic. So if you're finished, then you can pick up the mic and go to the next station. All right, so now we're out here on the skeet field and uh, we're gonna go through the BRB system on uh, solo shooter for skeet. So uh, typically what you do is you'd have uh, just the one microphone stand with our uh, little support here to hold the, the handheld transmitter, um, just the one mic stand. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna power on the microphone. Okay, so you can tell just by the tone, there's no extra beep. That means that uh, Everything here is powered on for trap at the moment, and we want skeet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to the handset and we're gonna press the red button and hold that and then the S for skeet. Okay, so now we have the beep. All right, so next thing we wanna do is put it into uh, the solo shooter mode for rounds. And so what this is gonna do, it's gonna set up uh, for a regular sequence of skeet. So to do that, we press and hold the red button and then the doubles. And you'll see the lights flash. And uh, what we'll do next here is we'll just press the red button and the microphone should open. You can see the microphone is closed now. So when I press the red button, it should open. Let's see here, red button. and it didn't open so that means uh let's try again it, po it possibly was in that uh, solo shooter mode before so let's try again and press the red button and then doubles yeah and the flashes are directional here so uh, that makes a difference on which way they're flashing so if it doesn't light up when you press the red button just try it again so let's shoot through a few and uh the way this works to advance stations to advance from uh, high house to low house to doubles is it's actually recording gunshots so uh, we can't simulate this without shooting so we're going to go ahead and do a little shooting and then uh, uh, just kind of show you how it works through the sequence here oh Okay, so I finished station one here, uh, and you can see that uh, there's no lights on the uh, handset here, and the microphone is closed, and so we're ready to go on to station two, okay? Uh, if at any time uh, you miss and need to take the option shot, any time you can press either the uh, high or the low, it'll go to that 
uh, target but stay in sequence here okay so station two again it's a little hard to see with the sun but uh, you can see the microphone's closed as soon as I press the red button the microphone should open and select the high house target Okay, so you can see that uh, we're clean through two, the microphone is closed, and we're ready for station three. So all I need to do is pick up the mic, and I want to get station three, we'll press the red button again to uh, restart the sequence for three. Okay, station three, again, mic's closed, let's press the red button, we'll start, uh, should select the high house here. Oh. Okay, clean through three. You can see the uh, microphone is now closed. Uh, nothing's flashing on the handset. So let's head to four. Good through four. You can see the microphone's closed again. We'll head to five. Get ready on five. We'll go ahead and open the mic. Oh. Oh. Okay, so I missed that low house and that's my option shot so uh, what I want to do here is all that you do is just press the uh, low house and that mic uh, will open for low house target oh. okay uh, again microphone's closed now on to six Okay, station six, go ahead and open up the mic. Should should select the high house target. Oh. 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 Microphone closes automatically. We're ready for seven. Huh? Huh? Okay, that's seven. Mic is closed. And we can go on to eight. Okay, station eight. Uh, if we set the microphone stand somewhere in the middle there, it should pick up the call uh, from both stations without having to move it again. So uh, let's give it a try.
so that's it I uh, probably didn't hear that but there was a little audible beep at the end uh, indicating that the round is over so you can see there's no more lights flashing on the handset and uh, our uh, mic receiver is back to uh, microphone closed so uh, that's it for the uh, solo round of American Skeet Okay, so next thing we're going to talk about is uh, shooting rounds with multiple shooters uh, in skeet. So again, this is where you just need one microphone uh, stand. It's going to travel with you. So what you do is you go ahead and uh, power on your box, but you're going to power it on in uh, multi-use mode. So the way we do that for skeet is we're going to press and hold the button. Um, again, you should hear the, the extra beep to indicate it's skeet. But we're going to press and hold it until we hear another beep after about three seconds here. Okay, there we go. So you can see the double flash on that, and uh, that means we're in skeet mode, which is what we want. Now, uh, since we're powered up in multi-use mode, we're gonna go ahead and just go back to the handset here, and uh, we're gonna press the red button, and then the uh, 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 press, and hold, press and hold the red button, and then press and hold the double button. Uh, and we should get the indicator of lights here to put us into round mode. Okay, so there we go, microphone's closed. Uh, if we press the red button, it should start the sequence here. So let's try that. Okay, it didn't, so let's try it again. So maybe I just took it out of round mode. So we'll press the red button and then the doubles. Okay, now if I press the red button, uh, it should open the mic. And it did. Oh. Oh. Okay, just stepping away from the uh, mic stand for a minute so I don't get a target. But uh, you can see there at the end, once I finish the sequence, the, uh, the, the microphone selected back to high house. So what you would do is you go ahead and finish, uh, finish up shooting your squad. Doesn't matter if you have two shooters, six shooters, uh, it works all the same. So basically finish your shooters and then uh, you would uh, press the red button to move on to the next station. So let's pretend that uh, shooter number two is up here. We're going to go through it and then we'll show you how to advance. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so you can tell it's advancing through stations by the tone. So if I hit it again, close it, so it's telling me it's on station four now. You can tell that by the tone. Okay, one important thing about uh, powering on the uh, mic stands is that if they're in skeet mode, they will turn each other off uh, because when you turn it on to skeet mode, uh, the system assumes that uh, you're gonna use one mic for solo shooting or um, uh, for, for shooting with the squad through regular rounds. So I'll show you an example of that. So if I power this on, it's uh, gonna come on in skeet mode. You can tell by the extra beep and the double flash. So when I power this guy on, it's gonna turn that mic off. Okay, so that's pretty common. Um, if you need to use all of the mics for skeet, uh, what you have to do, unfortunately, is put every mic in trap one to one, one by one. 
So again, we cover that in the other video. So again, real quickly, we're just gonna press and hold the red button and then the trap. Okay, power on the other one. Same thing, red button over the trap. Okay, so you can see they're all in trap mode now. We've got the single flash. And so we wanna turn them over to skeet. So the way we do that is uh, they're all on. We just press the red button and then move over to skeet. Okay, so again, everything is in the uh, double flash mode. And uh, really the only reason we use all eight mics is to have true voice release. Um, the uh, referee or coach still has to use the button to set the targets. Um, so we'll go over that here next. Uh, we'll get all eight, all eight mics laid out and uh, uh, go through the regular uh, round of skeet just using the controller. Okay, so when we're using all eight mics, really the only reason you'd use all eight mics or a couple different reasons um, would be to have a true, uh, fair uh, release on voice, okay? Um, basically you still need to have a coach or a referee select the button so we powered all of these on in skeet mode we show you how to do that uh, everything's set to skeet mode so uh, everything is still controlled through the handset so um, if we look at the uh, the controller uh, basically the microphones are currently closed so there's nothing flashing here and if we look, yeah, we, so we can see that the double flash here means that it's uh, microphones are closed. Everything's in standby. Okay. So if we want to open the mic uh, for a high house, we'll press that button and you'll see the high house is flashing. And we can come back and see that the microphones are uh, uh, open. Okay, it doesn't matter uh, what station you're on, all the mic will be open. Okay, so this is a, a way that you can uh, set it up to uh, uh, have true instant release based on voice. Uh, I believe there's also a way we can set for uh, um, international. I need to dig into the, the uh, instructions a little bit more, but you set these up for uh, uh, instant to up to three second delay. So um, just to kind of demo these here quick, um, we'll go ahead and uh, just shoot through a couple to show you what that looks like. So again, here we'll just start uh, station two. Again, there'd be a, typically a coach or referee here. Um, but again, if I want to want to practice targets here, I can uh, set whatever I want. As soon as I press a button, it's going to open the mic. If I don't want that selection, all I need to do is cancel, and it's going to uh, close the mic again. So again, microphone's closed here. We're going to set this for uh, double. And you can see after the uh, voice is released, there's there's no shot detection or anything. The microphone just goes back to being closed. Nothing selected until the referee makes the next selection. So again, uh, pretty simple. Just a good way that you can uh, use the system for, for true voice release and uh, make it a little more fair for, for practice and competition. So uh, that's it. Enjoy.